Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. Everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back. So it is now 22 days into Amberin. I love it. So here's the deal, guys. Definitely a decrease in night sweats. Definitely a decrease in day sweats. Definitely a decrease in the intensity of each of those. So I'm only 22 days in. Since so the actual results start about day 30 through day 60, so we will find out what actually happens here uh, in the next three months. So I will say that I originally lost about four pounds. I gained two back, hoped I would have had them off by now. I don't, however, I think maybe part of that is due to DOMS because I was doing 15 miles, 10 miles, eight miles walking, you name it. And so it's been a very, very good week, um, physical activity wise. Some of the days where I did 15 miles, I was actually doing uh, like, seven and a half walk, seven and a half ride. And the inclines on my trail, which is fully open right now, guys, which is beautiful. They did a fantastic job of it. So anyway, gorgeous, but the inclines are a beast. It was an exciting time to know that I could actually do it, even if my scale is up. I'm still able to exercise in the manner that pleases me. So that's very exciting. Now, um, some of you guys might be wondering why I decided to go ahead and start off with the Ambrin. The reason is it's hot here in Texas. I live in a hot climate. We just got a report from the LCRA, the Lower Colorado River Authority, stating that in the state of Texas, we'll most likely be getting at least 35 days this year that exceed 100 degrees in temperature. So guys, so having known that late fall, I was experiencing torture with the hot flashes. I thought, I can't do that. When you're throwing the blankets off, when you're on the trail and you want to throw your clothes off, that's not a good thing. When you are telling your husband to get the heck away from you, <laughs> to move away, sleep in a different room, whatever, because he's naturally a furnace, guys. He is a little heat maker. So I was like, I can't do this. This is start, it's 70 degrees outside and I'm having a hard time. So I thought all the great reviews that are out there about Ambrin, I'd give it a try. And so far, I am not regretting it. Again, it says most people start seeing results day 30 through day 60. So I've got the three month supply, giving it a try. If you didn't see my original video, here's a link. Well, there'll be a link in the upper right hand corner. Check it out. Um, again, this product, guys, go online. Find the cheapest price you can get. You'll be surprised. Online, Ambrin's website, got it. I won't get one free. All right, so there you go. Ambrin, thrilled with it. Now let me tell you, so I got another product. Now, even though I'm telling you guys that there is less intensity on the hot flashes, there's times where it still feels unbearable. So I found this, cool flash for the hot flash. I'm gonna give it a try. Does not have hormones, does not have estrogen does have a hefty price for this little bitty container. What is it, like half an ounce, something like that. Online, pretty much $25. And I thought, girl, I know it's bad, but you're cheap. Went online, searched for prices, found it at walgreens.com, not in the stores, only online, for $9.99. Spend $35, do you get free shipping and handling, and it's shipped to your house. I said, yes, order it. So I'm trying this out. Directions indicate to take a dime size portion of it, put it on your wrist, put it on your neck, put it on the back of your neck, um, on your chest. Any of those locations are sufficient. So giving this a try. I tried it last night and I will tell you that I did feel some relief. I don't know about immediate relief. Um, we're gonna have to, hi Daisy. We're gonna have to give it more than a one try. All right, so there we go with that. Um, next, let's talk a little bit about blood results there. And so guys, I went and saw my doctor on the second and then picked up my results a few days later. So she called me and said, Alma, your thyroid levels are off. Confirmed. Let me tell you what type of panel she did. She did a CMP2 complete panel. She did lipids, iron, CBC, complete blood count. 
um, thyroid 2 profile. All right, thyroid 2 profile includes your T uptake, it includes your T4, your T3, and your TSH. And your TSH is the thyroid uh, stimulating hormone, TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. The normal range is 0.4 to 4.1. All right, my level was a 42.7. You're saying, well, I'm, it's high. Why is it high? That means you've got too much thyroid. No, that means my hormone is saying, work, 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 work. And my body is saying, I'm broken. I can't work. So the doctor took me from my prescription, increased my dose. Typically, she would staircase it. It would go from a 125 to a 137, and then 137 to 150. She didn't do that. She just went straight from 125 to 150. And so that pretty much tells me that I was really out of whack. And um, let me tell you, when I first got sick with my thyroid, I dosage was at a 375, somewhere around there. And uh, yeah, I was taking a lot. So I was diagnosed two months after I, I gave birth to Tyler. And so let me tell you a story about that. Um, I worked at IBM and I had a manager come up to me one day and he's like, Alma, you don't look well. I was like, I know, Lynn, the baby's keeping me up, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, uh, this, blah, 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 blah. And he said, no, you don't look well. And he said, I'm telling you this as a friend. And think of it this way, Alma. If you physically don't look well on the outside, what's going on with your organs on the inside? And that had an effect on me. And I went to the doctor that week. I found out at that point in time that my cholesterol was off the charts. I found out that my thyroid stimulating hormone was at like a thousand. Outrageous. My doctor immediately took me out of work. I think I was out of work for a good six weeks, between six and eight weeks, uh, so that they could get my thyroid under control because I was at eight times the average risk of a heart attack because of my cholesterol and my LDL, my H, everything was just bad. Everything was bad. Everything that you can imagine was bad when my thyroid problems began. And so, same doctor that I went and saw on the, on the second. And so we have a long, long history of her helping me find my health. My 42, uh, yeah, it's high and it's Makes sense because I haven't been feeling well. It'll take about a month for the levels to adjust a little bit. We'll get the blood work done again. And then maybe all of these things that I'm doing, the exercise, the Ambrin, the new thyroid dose, maybe I'll start seeing some glorious results on the scale. That's my hope and my prayer because I'm doing a lot of other stuff right. Metabolism struggles when you have low thyroid. So with that being said, the other item that is off here is my cholesterol. My cholesterol is at a 271. The average range should not be greater than 200, so I'm up 71 points. Again, this is typical for me. If my thyroid's off, typically my cholesterol is off too because my metabolism is wacko. We know right now that I'm taking chia, which is really great in omegas. So hopefully between that, I'm gonna start taking fish oil and my thyroid, hopefully that number will come down, fingers crossed. Uh, I'll give you an update on the next test that we do. So guys, come here. We got through this. We got through this with almost no Daisy. My last videos were torturous, but she is here with me. She just, hey Daisy. Say hi to everybody, Daisy. And she's the cutest baby. So if you don't know, Daisy is our little rescue. She came into our lives about a month and a half before Barkley passed away. And I'm so thankful because I can't imagine not having the sounds of a bulldog in my home. Um, she doesn't replace Barkley like nobody could. Just like my son could never be replaced. However, she's a blessing to our family. All right, guys, gonna wrap it up. <laughs> Smile for the camera, Daisy. Loves having her tongue out. It's not tongue out Tuesday. It's not tongue out Thursday. Every day is tongue out day for Daisy. Daisy. All right, guys, have a blessed day. See you soon. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, 
and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork fries, pork fries, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah.